Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's the 20th of August. Like crazy, right? Time is an illusion. That's for sure. We're kind of witnessing it right now, really. How the days just flow into one another. So, okay. It's Thursday. The 20th of August, 2020. So it's 20, 2020. So there's a lot of twos there, yeah? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. To what? To staying balanced. To understanding. To speaking your truth. To having your own personal power. To choose who you... Oh, that's interesting. I almost lost my voice there. So, to speak your truth and hold on to your personal power... major importance uh, to give love to receive love to know thyself okay okay let's see what universe would like for us to know Beautiful. We are, we, excuse me, we have put up the boundaries and now we're, we settled the score, so to speak. We have expressed, right, what we will and will not stand for. And now it's written pretty much in stone, so to speak, right? It's already been said. It needs not to be reiterated. It is, it is just, it is just something that you had to, it's kind of like you had to draw the line in the sand and now you're done. I mean, how many times do you have to draw the line in the sand for these people who are coming at you to get, you know, to get the understanding that you're not going to take it anymore, right? You're defending your own right. And here's the wand. You're taking that wand. Look at <laughs> You're taking that wand, you're getting on your horse, and you're out. Even though it's going the other way, we'll see why in the next card. But the point is, you're out. And maybe if that hasn't happened, the reason why the horse is, is so that you draw the line in the sand. For those of you who have not, it's time to do so. That's the only way you're going to hold on to your personal power and not misuse of power personal power like stand up for what you believe in say no this is not my ultimate my ultimate you know um what is it the ultimate viewpoint of what i want and what you want is different so i have to show not in a bad way, just you have to show others that you're not going to put up with crap. And maybe that's why the horse, the knight, is charging in quickly to say, this is not acceptable. And it's time to say that because you need to own up to your personal power in relationships and whatever relationships that is. This is about, this is also about, don't come at me, don't come at me, you know, for another round, right? I have enough, I have enough empowerment of myself. I am empowered right here. So get on your horse and say, listen, I'm not putting up with it. And whatever relationship, be it love, be it business, be it friendships, family, whatever relationship, you need to you need to own up to what drawing that line in the sand. And if you don't, you have no one to blame but yourself, right? 
So understand that, it's important. And the wands are all about action. So if you draw the line in the sand and empower yourself to say, this is not going to work and this is gonna work, this is what I want and this is what you can give me, then you, we, now we're on the same page. Now balance can be established. And that's really and truly in general across the board in everything and everyone that we encounter because they're versions of us. And some versions of us have not healed. So that's why they come at us to reinstate the boundaries that need to be placed. Reinstate, listen, I already drew the line in the sand for you. What part of that don't you understand, right? Don't come at me, right? This is a soul counterpart. However, in this, in this spread right now with these three cards, this is not just about soul counterparts. This is about every relationship across the board. You have to, oh, here, look at that. Two cards flipped. You need to take hold of your freedom. You need freedom. Someone doesn't want to let go, but someone has to let go, right? Because the devil came up. Someone's freeing themselves from situations, and I'm talking about, like I said, any relationship, any friendship, any family issue, a legal battle, right? Action can only be taken when you stand up for yourself. It's right here. If you have already, and you drew the, the line in the sand, then just be done with it and walk away. You just freed yourself. You may not feel justice was served, however, because it's reversed. So that's what I think has happened. You still want to go at it, is what I feel. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, um, Capricorn, and Gemini. Someone might have a lega uh, legality of sort in a business or partnership, and someone has freed themselves from it, but the other party is bitter and wants justice. That's why they're coming at them again. They're coming for more, right? Don't let them. Because what is important here, what's important is to allow someone to make their own, what is it? They make their own bed, now let them sleep in it, right? That's how it has to go down. Do not let anyone come charging in just because they don't feel that justice has been served enough to the situation. No one rocks your security. No one, no how, because you're not enabling anyone to come at you. You may be ignoring it. That's what I just heard. Ignore those people who, who still want to kind of jab, right? They still want the drama. People like this feel like unfair justice and they can't get enough because why? It's to they're toxic. So don't let toxic people try to convince you anything other than what you want and what you stand for. And that's a huge message for all. Okay, we'll take these. Right? Because what happens, the magician comes in to say, guess what? Karma's being paid to those who, to those who do right by themselves. And this cup, and this offer, or maybe someone is getting like, let me make you a better offer. Let me make you another offer, but it's, it's fake. It's not real. They want to manipulate an offer because they don't feel justice has been served. 
So be very mindful the next week. I'm going to say week. I felt a week. Do not allow any drama or any level of people, places, and things that want to settle the score. I feel this big. <coughs> Excuse me. And the magician with the justice and the devil reversed? Are you kidding me? This is not the real deal. I guarantee you it's not. This is I want justice. I may have freed myself, but I want justice. I have I didn't get my I didn't get that feeling. You don't need to do not do not equate yourself with people who want to settle the score. And they come in charging charging in saying I want I want like I want to hit you up with another because you did me wrong. That, my friends, is going to look, it's going to mirror you, which is right here, and it's going to give you your karma on a silver platter, no less, no doubt. So be mindful of wanting to settle a score, or you could be trying to manipulate, let me, you know, someone saying, let me come back, right? I want to come back. I want to be with you, but it's just for, I want to settle the score offer. It's not a real offer. I'm just saying it's not. And you will realize it immediately. How will you? Because your heart, your heart is blocked. Look, your heart is like, no, don't think so. Not today. Because you know that someone has the motive of the injustice and not the real love. Look at that. Wow. Queen of swords. Yeah, she'll cut you. She'll cut you if you try to do any of that. This is a Libra here. Maybe an injustice has been done or is trying to be, the score is trying to be settled with a Gemini Libra Aquarius because this is Gemini as well. So let me tell you, just let me tell you, if you're dealing with an air sign, legalities, etc., or whatever this is, be it a friendship, partnership, whatever, do not try to settle the score with an air sign. They will cut you out. They just don't have time for games. They want truth. And they only accept those who are offering a true cup and not one that's like, let's settle the score here because I want my justice. That's not going to happen, right? Because this woman is spiritual. This woman has morals. This woman has ethics. She's on higher ground. She is. Look at, she's in the clouds. Are you kidding? I'm not joking. This is a spiritual woman who has done a lot of work on herself. The Queen of Swords, if you have not heard me say many times, is has gone through right the school of hard knocks. And that's an understatement. That's why she carries the sword. Because she doesn't have time for crap. And she's spiritual. She's leveled up. She's done work on herself. So you can't rock her stability or foundation right here. You can't. If you don't come with a committed offer, an offer of real love instead of injustice for all, she cuts you out. And she will do it delicately because she knows how. She doesn't have time for games. She's looking out into the world of possibilities and focusing on just what is she going to do? How is she going to help others? That's what the Queen of Swords does. She helps others. So if someone's trying to settle the score with, with her, they won't even get close. Because she's balanced. You see that? She's balanced. And the Knight of Wands is huge imbalance. See? She knows that there's more to the story that meets the eye. 
because she's just, she just knows. That's who the Queen of Swords is. So I, if I were you and you're messing financially, legally, settling the score on any, in any way, I would be very mindful of how you approach this queen because she doesn't deal with toxicity and this, she knows how karma works because she's been through it. She's been through this. And when, and when the offer is on the table, the heart's not closed, but she knows that it's a manipulation instead of the real deal. Wow. I, wow. And she's not expecting it, right? She's not expecting, she will find out probably at some point the loyalty right here, the loyalty of others. And I, why do I say that? Because it's right here and it's reversed. There's secrets. There are things that are, and it's not secrets as in, you know, just someone may not be telling the whole story. Someone's just telling you what you need to know at the time that, you know, they feel it's appropriate, right? Here, let me offer this cup, but I won't, I'm not telling you the whole story. Let me, let me just kind of like feel the, wa feel the water, right? Let me feel it out, which this is a cancer card. This is all emotions. Let me feel how you're going to react and see. And someone's saying, you know, I already put that, I already drew that line in the sand, but if I have to do it again, I will. Because this offer, it comes tainted. Tainted with financial issues for sure this is a legal issue or someone has a legal issue and is not speaking about it or telling you the whole story and they want justice for the injustice that has taken place it's settling the score financially it's settling the score emotionally it's settling the score and if you're trying to do that with a queen of swords, good luck. She doesn't, she doesn't take to the moon very well at all. And we have the, the new moon in Leo. So guess what? That's why we have all these wands. Clearly. Someone wants to come in. Someone wants to come in and settle the score but the queen is looking elsewhere. She's like out. Do you see? Someone's coming toward her, but she, which is right here, depicts her focus. The queen of swords, the focus on the queen of swords is spirituality. No time. It's actually like this. Look, her focus is on her spiritual path. This focus is on the manipulation and injustice that has taken place and not being honest and truthful. And when that happens, you know, she just doesn't have time for it. She, she will leave the building, so to speak. She's already left, right? There are things that she needs to do She's working on herself. She's working on how she can serve the world. Not on the issues that she doesn't or she will find out about, but it won't affect her because she's not involved. She's not involved. She's taken herself out of the equation, but someone else wants to settle the score. It could be a, for sure, it could be a financial situation or someone doesn't feel that they're good enough at this point, right? And if they don't feel that they're good enough, well, it's because they have had toxicity and they want to settle, settle up. I mean, come on, the devil's here. They may have freed themselves from toxic people, 
but they're still feeling an injustice. So there's like hidden resentment there. There's hidden feelings of anger. Look at all the red. Are you kidding me? Someone's really angry. Like deep down inside, right? For sure. And that's when karma will step in. Someone's heart is definitely, they're not emotionally available because they have too much hiding. Okay, and you'll know it, just FYI, you will know it. Okay, let me get one of these beautiful cards that I used yesterday. And then we'll get an Ascended Master Archangel card for the reading. So how, do, how does one settle the score here? You just focus on yourself and walk away from the, you know, you know better. Let's just, that's what I'm hearing. You know better. Look at that card just flipped. It's jewel within a teardrop. Someone feels very slighted for sure. Appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. Someone wants it, but is it real? I'm going to have to pick out another card. The emotional connection, it's a one. Someone wants a new beginning. Someone's coming in to say, well, this is also an ending. It's a 10. So this is the ending of. So let's just see what card comes with this. Let's pick two more. Okay, this could be the queen right here. The queen has suffered many losses, right? And she really does have feelings that you don't know about, for sure. Because she has been through a lot. But she's also taken her power. Her power is her spirituality and her connection is what she is all about and that's the queen of swords and i feel this is a this is a feminine so we she has the spiritual connection to to source and that's where she is driven to be there's a purpose for this woman whoever whomever you are out there she's got a spiritual and emotion connection but this connection is to spirit. Do you understand that? She understands the connection to spirit and how she's going and her purpose is how is she going to serve to help others? That's her focus point, not this other petty stuff. So let's take two more cards as I mentioned, just to see what else spirit wants to tell us. That's the message, look at that. That is the message. That brings this woman, Queen of Swords, peace and balance. Positive news, positive outcome. Why? Because she chose peace. Another 10. Look at that. 10, 10. This is a 28. And this is a 10. She's on a new path. She's on the path of spirit. She's been enlightened. Understand that. She's been enlightened. If you're on path, this is you. And you're not putting up with people who are coming with clearly, clearly not telling the whole story, the truth, the whole truth. And this is why it is not going to happen. Because the queen knows it. She knows that people, she already knows that because she's on path. Do you understand? When this card comes up, it's just like, okay. But it's also the new moon. So the things that are culminating are culminating because of new beginnings. Oh my God, another one. Oh my God. Look at that, you guys. I have three aces. The tree of life. The wisdom, of course, right? She's gained a lot of wisdom, this woman, this girl, whoever is the queen of swords. If that's you out there and you're on a spiritual journey and you want to serve others, that's what your focus is, not on the other stuff, on the external. Your focus is on spirit, and the message is exactly that. One, one, one. New beginnings, new life, fertility, creativity, destiny, and magical blessings. This is what 
the Queen of Swords is all about. These are exactly the same cards as these. Do you understand? Here is the Queen. Let me just show you. Here is the Queen, right? Bam. Here is the message from Spirit, God. And here is the tree of life, the wisdom and looking out into the world on how to help share the wisdom in order for others to grow. <laughs> wow, I'm speechless. I hope you have a very blessed day. Oh, hold on, let's not forget. <laughs> I, I'm speechless. I truly am speechless. Okay. Let's get one final card from the Ascended Masters and Archangels. Just one is, I mean, because I'm speechless. <laughs> it's this one. Transcendence. Perfect. Lord Shiva. Absolutely. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given dance with the universe someone has this queen of swords has transcended and at this point of her journey she has already risen to her inner work and is doing all the steps necessary to help dance with the divine Have a great day.